do you do on those conventions? <laughs> Except bribes, so I take nothing. <laughs> what do you think of Greg? Was that a pretty, pretty good impersonation? Did you think, Don? Oh, he's wonderful. Yeah. I wish I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> we can the man in charge of our security here into the night, Barney Fife Jr. there. Yeah. A lot of times you don't even see these babies move. You just see blood. Right. Okay. Now. And let me see if I understand this. Now, you're the head of security there. Well, that's right. I've been the head of security for about a year now. Uh, okay. Let me ask you something else. Now, what? Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Mr. Five, what? What's, what is that behind you? Right behind you, right, right there. Right behind me? Right behind you, right there. Well, that's, well, that's the building, Jay. Yeah, can you see the name? Yeah. Yeah, that's all that is. <laughs> All right, let me ask you, do you have any plans to increase uh, security? Well, I'm hoping they'll finally let me use my bullet. I got it right here. Yeah. Yeah, there could be flying lead later tonight. Straight from Mayberry, we have flown in for your security, Officer Barney Fife. Give him a hand. Where is he? Here he comes. Give him a hand, Officer Fife. Tell me, how are things going back home? Well, pretty good. Yeah. Oh, of course, the new Vision products are going right through Mayberry, yeah. I'll tell you that. Yeah, Andy's, uh, Andy's on the products now. Well, right? he is, and ain't B's trimmed down, you barely recognize her. Really? <laughs> this is great. We had numerous violations here. First of all, it says walk and you were standing. Secondly, over here where you were, it says stand and you were dancing. <laughs> all right, that's a dual violation. Where are y'all from? <laughs> we're from the Twin Cities. Twin Cities. That'd be in Minneapolis and St. Paul. Been there no, before. that'd be Dubuque in Des Moines. <laughs> you getting smart with me? Yeah. All right, that's going to be a third violation. <laughs> I should lecture him for just a second, if I may. <laughs> now, folks, I know you're real excited being on a Hollywood set with big Hollywood stars, and I don't blame you. <laughs> However, if I see anybody rush the stage, you're going to have to go through me, and going through me means dealing with these babies. <laughs> That's corrupt. That's so, do I make myself clear? You're, you're awfully... Do I make myself clear? Yes. Well, uh, that should take care of it. You're being you. awfully stern, aren't you? Well, you got to. Intimidation's the key. <laughs> <laughs> you break them down so you can build them up. <laughs> so do you, uh, do you still have a bullet? Oh, yeah, I got it right here. Yeah, there could be flying lead before this shows up. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> no, you used to be on Into the Night, yes? Late night, Joe, yeah, of course. Yeah. I was on that for a year, but I'm not in it for the glory, just for the, you know, for the safety of the people. Now I'm back on the streets where I belong. <laughs> so that's what you've been doing since then. That's right, going to the, the inner cities and what have you, wherever I'm needed. The inner cities. That's right. So what do you do if a kid goes bad? If a kid goes bad? Well, I learned this a long time ago from Barney Sr. The first sign a kid's going bad, you've got to... Oh, what do you got to do, Don? <laughs> the first sign a kid's going bad, you've got to... Nip it in the bud. That's right. <laughs> How about that? Introduce yourself to everybody. Well, yes. uh, my name's Greg Binkley, actually, but uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> Greg. Huh? Uh, a long time. Actually, I used to do it at a restaurant called Ed DeBevix in Beverly Hills. And uh, Rick D saw me there and put me on his TV show. And uh, that's kind of how it took off. But I've, I've met Don on a couple of occasions and told him what an incredible honor it is for me to 
keep Barney going and uh, to be sitting next to him, man. What a thrill. <laughs> so, what a but, thrill. You, you, but you have met before. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, so did you I... grow up watching Andy Griffith? Is this, I mean, what started all this, hon? Where'd you go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Should be, uh, yeah. I, uh, I used to watch it back home. A friend of mine, Doug Thrasher, in high school, I'm from Kansas, used to do it. And I realized I had the lower lip for it, and then the head started shaking, and then, you know, here I am. <laughs> A living doing this? Well, occasionally I make appearances around the country. Once I got seen on Into the Night, the company that sells the Andy Griffith Show videotapes, United American Video in Charlotte, they send me around to conventions, and then other companies like Walmart have seen me, and they've sent me to their conventions, and it's, it's just been amazing. I was at a convention for Walmart, 15,000 people, and I wow. did some Barney, and afterwards, it was like I was Elvis. Well, look, that's all the time we have. Thank you, Mr. Fife. Thank you for helping us out. Mr. Fife, the head of security. All right.